I got a few announcements before I introduce this week's video. Uh, the last video I uploaded on installing that LED security light um, did a little experiment and I wanted to thank everyone for checking out that link and reporting back of what the, the installation cost and your area was for that light. Now, the company that makes that light, Sansi, Sansi, where's that box? I don't know where the box is. Well, they got in touch with me and they are offering a 35% discount code to just my viewers. And that discount code is Sing Song. Not sure why they picked Sing Song. Um, I'll put it here on the screen and I'll also put it in the description box along with a link to that security light. I also got a few new tools. Just pan over here. If you're not following me on Instagram, you missed out uh, seeing this one. I did get that one all put back together and test it out. I picked it up as kind of a package deal. I got the six and an eighth inch uh, jointer and the 13 inch thickness planer. Now the project I'm introducing, I started, I think the beginning of November, and I've been putting off editing it for a while. Cause it's a long project. These, this house has gutters that are two years old and the property manager tried to convince the property owner that they should replace the soffit and fascia before they put the new gutters on. Well, they didn't, uh, didn't want to do that. Two years later, the soffit and fascia is getting so bad that you can't ignore it anymore. So they are paying me to remove the brand new gutters and remove and replace all the soffit and fascia on the duplex and the detached garage. Now we went to a seamless gutter company and asked them how much to remove the gutters that you put on two years ago and then reinstall them. And it was actually a thousand dollars more than what they charged to put them on to begin with. Um, they said that it's, uh, it's not an easy job to take all, all the gutters off, not damage them, and to reinstall them. So the solution we came up with is I'm just going to remove all the gutters, the brand new gutters, do the soffit and fascia, and then just pay for a new install with the seamless gutters. What you looking for, huh? That's it for the intro and announcements. This is the house. You can see there's some rot there. Um, I've got some work to do getting around this electrical here. This is the front of the duplex, and as you can see, there is a long run that wraps around half the house of this old metal awning. The customers want to keep this metal awning intact, and there's really no way to take it apart and reassemble it. Looks pretty decent. The awnings that are over the back door and the windows are going to be removed and they're not going to be replaced. Looks like they're all clipped on. The section that you're looking at here is on the detached garage. It has only 12 inch soffits, so I'm able to get 32 feet of soffit out of one sheet of plywood for the garage. Now the one thing that we can reuse for the next set of gutters is the downspouts. So you can see me putting tape on it and I'm labeling the location that all the downspouts go so that when the gutter guys come back they know where to reinstall them. We're up inside here and I'm not sure what kind of screws these are but on that side they stripped right off as soon as I put a screw gun on them. So what I'm going to do is use a chisel and a hammer I'm just putting the chisel on there and okay just a few taps and you can see that it broke right off
gutters are held on with one and a half inch lag screws. And right here, I'm just going around the entire house, taking all the screws out. Right now, the only thing holding this whole section and this whole section on the house, I think I got all the screws out, is just friction and the glue. It's kind of a mess, but these things are all glued together, these seams here. And um, I'm going to go through and cut all them and try to take this off one section at a time. Quick update. It's slowly but surely coming apart, and there's another example of why I'm doing this really rotten so this section is all loose this section is loose there's a little bit of uh, gutter over the front awning that's loose so right now I'm gonna get my my snips and cut this just down to manageable sizes there was uh, a minute where I thought I was gonna try to get these off without damaging them it makes sense that the seamless gutter company wanted to charge so much to remove and replace they knew that they would not be putting these ones back up getting my rhythm on how to remove these and it's going a lot faster. It is the beginning of day two, and um, I think my goal is just to stay on the gutters and get all the gutters removed, even all the way around the front and then the area above this uh, metal awning here. Get them all off there. Then, um, depending on what time it is, I'll either make a run to the recycling place or work on the removing the soffit and fascia. Okay, we're getting up to a slightly dangerous part, and that is where the electricity comes to the house. That whole, I don't know, 100 foot section of wire is supported by that one fitting or connection point right there. So I gotta be careful going around this. Um, I should not be using aluminum ladders. That's why you'll see electricians will always have a wood or fiberglass ladder that they work off of so that um, their ladder is not grounded and that's going to be the path that electricity would travel and if you're standing on it you could get zapped I am done for the day it was a short day easy day um, as you can see I've got all the house gutters cut and loaded into the bed of the truck I'm going home dropping off the trailer and then taking it to the recycling plant hey okay, just got to the recycling place so these are not aluminum gutters they're just metal gutters so I probably won't get much at all for them. But I'm going to just dump them here real quick and get my 50 cents. 
At least I don't have to pay to get rid of them. So now I go get weighed again. Uh, any guesses on how much I'll get? What you do is you get a ticket and you go inside this little building and you feed the ticket into something that looks like an ATM machine and um, and then it spits out cash. 5,920 pounds. Okay, are you ready? Actually more than I thought. $7.65. That's not bad. So apparently the machine doesn't put out change. It uh, spit out eight bucks, so eh, not too bad. So as I said in the last, uh, or maybe yesterday, I'm doing this house in sections. So I'm gonna be doing the back side and the east side first, taking everything off and then completely replacing it with new soffit and fascia. Then I'll move on to this side and the last portion will be the street side. And I've gotten started back there. But also I wanted to point something out. Uh, as I'm doing this, uh, these lights here, uh, they don't all have light boxes. Some of them just have a wire run through the attic and in a hole drilled. The property manager says this one doesn't have any electricity to it. You can see it has a photo cell on it and no box. So when I get to this section, I'll be wiring in a box that's recessed into the new soffit so that we can have kind of a proper light fixture with a, a photo cell on it. But I'm just going along here and this is going almost, almost too easy, but I'm sure something's gonna come up. probably a one by material on the end of the rafters and it's actually in surprisingly good condition just a little bit of staining around the uh, the old nails so I'll continue taking this piece off the next ooh, that's gonna be a mess next this comes off So I don't think I'm gonna get this lucky all the way around the house. So far I'm not seeing anything rotten that needs to be replaced. Um, I do anticipate having to replace some of these boards, maybe even some of the rafter tails, but this looks pretty good. I don't see any water staining. This one by looks in good shape. So that all can stay intact. I'm gonna keep moving around. Don't wanna get too far ahead because like I said I don't want to leave all this ripped open uh, the next day next work day which is tomorrow uh, will be in the workshop I'm gonna be pre-cutting all the soffit material all the fascia material then I'm also gonna be painting it all with a, an airless sprayer uh, in my my little paint room and bringing it over and reinstalling
here's some of the electrical that I'll be replacing. But I'm just taking this photo cell um, apart here in hand. Pretty simple. Let's keep that wire nutted. Um, it'll get stuffed up through that hole. Look at this freaking vine went all the way up into there. Uh, and I'll just tear this section off. And when I go back, I'll make sure that this goes into a box that's recessed into the soffit. That's it for the first part of this project. Um, this is probably the longest video I've put out. Um, if you could leave a comment below giving me some feedback, um, let me know if it's too long, too boring, did it drag on too long, um, so that when I edit the next part, I can either keep the same amount of video content in, around 15 minutes, or I can trim a whole bunch out and get it down to around 10 minutes. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And that's it.